Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Literally the second I stopped recording on the last episode, a new quest, main quest line popped up, uh, suggesting that we need to get back on the trials. It's called the Headmistress Speaks, and it requires us to go back to the map chamber. I guess we're probably going to be meeting Professor Fig there as well. So I guess we should do it. He says, struggling to, uh, <laughs> to get to the... Uh, the map thing. We need the secret rooms, and then we need this one down here. However, I am aware that we've just picked up an awful lot of gear in the last episode as we went to uh, Lord Gok's place that he sent us to with a mitt. And uh, I might not have many gear slots available now. I might also have new gear that's that's good, but I don't know. We've got 16 out of 32, so we've got plenty of space for more gear, so that's good. Right, in that case, we'll just crack on with this quest. Get straight into it today. No messing about before we get on. Ah, uh, Professor Fig's not here, Welcome but... Back. Oh, wow, this map looks clearer than it ever did. Wow, that's, a, that's so cool. Okay, right, sorry. Sorry, Headmistress. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In mm. fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Interesting that we don't have uh, Professor Fig with us on this one. I wonder what the choice is for that. Maybe he wouldn't be overly happy with us going into the headmaster's office. I'm sure he would for this quest. Uh, okay. How do we get to the headmaster's office? It is there. Is it? Where'd it go? Oh, this map, it's awful. It's such an awful map. How do I find it? Oh, our broom upgrade is finally ready. I've been waiting for that forever. Jeez. Um, I don't even know where the headmaster's office is. After troubling events, so that's the Sebastian one. I don't really want to do that one. I want to, I want to go to the headmaster's office and start that one. Um, hmm. Look at all these little quest markers. There's millions of <laughs> jays. Uh, do any none of those say headmaster's office? Any one, any of these? No. I mean, I, I guess it's probably going to be hidden. I seem to remember it being behind a statue in the uh, in the films. So I'm I'm not sure it's going to be overly easy to find it. And I guess that's probably one of the challenges. But it has seems to have disappeared from the quest line. So what I am going to do then, I'm going to go uh, over to um, the broom man in Hogsmeade and uh, grab that and give the game an opportunity to actually. You <laughs> show me it on the map, I guess. Right, where do you... It's this one, isn't it? Okay. No, I want that. Hmm. Just when you think you're getting on a main quest line, the game's like, ah, ah, ah. You gotta go figure loads of stuff out first. But I don't want to figure it out. I want to just go and do the quest, mate. 
I don't want to walk around that. I mean, you could spend hours getting lost in Hogwarts looking for that. Well, I to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Oh my god, a special price? Special? Are you are you mad? I taught you how to make the upgrade. Why did it cost me so much? Well, this junk's not going to get me anywhere near. How much is the this one worth? 200. It might be useful as well. Oh jeez. Thanks for stopping you by. You suck. Hope to see you again. You absolutely suck. It better be the best upgrade in the world. Jeez. <laughs> ah, aha, aha, aha. There we go. There you go, see? It just takes a minute to uh for it to flag up, I guess. So we just need to find a flu network somewhere near that. Uh, which one's going to be closest? It looks like this one's relatively close. And it said Polyjuice. So I'm assuming we're going to have to transform into the headmaster in order to get into his office. This could be interesting, which means we're going to need to find an item from the headmaster to make a Polyjuice potion with. Follow the book. It's like everyone in the school wants to talk to me now. I really need to do a stream of just going around the school and talking to people, seeing what we can get and figure out from that. But it's the thing I'm interested in the least, to be honest with you. Professor figures, if my schedule wasn't congested enough, Ministry has charged me with arranging a rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts a fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists they will need an escort. What? Is that the one for to pick up us up, or are we getting another new fifth year? Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir. There's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. A couple of things strike me as odd about Professor Fig. He wasn't remotely sad about his wife's death when he learned about it. He's got potion to turn himself into the headmaster. Maybe he is the headmaster. Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. 
I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. No, now to get that statue that I've just spotted in here, which we're going to have to wait for night time to get. Finally. Ah, it's not going to allow me to do it, is it? No, because I'm mid-mission. Oh, that's annoying. Well, at least we know there's one in here. It's a shame. Oh, why can't I pick them up while it's daytime? I guess we have to run around Hogwarts as the headmaster. Looking like he seriously needs the toilet. Help! Help, wait! I need the toilet! Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Wow. Well. To determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. How to ridicule the headmaster. How many of these uh, why I accepted this interruptions are we going to have on the way there? I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor Black. How no, are thank you. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. Oh. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a... When I witnessed what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... S simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Are we just intentionally trying to be the horrible headmaster now, or is this is this the thoughts of our character? I wonder what side missions we could go as on as the headmaster. Ivory handled hand mirror. Of course. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? 
Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. I think he plays the headmaster real well. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never Come here, Elfie. Give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind oh, he's missing me an ear. the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Oh, if only we could give the house elf a, like an item of clothing. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the noble banners of Gryffindor. I shall be taking no questions <laughs> at this time. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't do Revelio to get that thing. Oh, no, hang on. The thing's telling me to go this way. Oh, man. That's, that's fantastic. Are we going to be happy? Just in time. It's wearing off. I think was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Revelio. And where would the gargoyle be? I believe we've been there before. It was at the top of one of the towers. Uh, it was kind of like a museum-y thing, but which tower was it? I don't think it was the astronomy wing. It's not the bell tower wing. Could have been at the top of the grand staircase. The great hall? No, I don't think it's the great hall. Could be. The library annex. Secret rooms. Oh, where was it? Where was it? Oh man, I don't want to go through them all. Yes, we try the very top of the grand staircase. Trophy room, yeah, that sounds about right. When we came looking for uh, 
for looking for the little statues for um for the janitor. What are you up to now? Nothing at all. I have no Rebellion. idea what you're talking about. Pretty sure this is the way. It's around here somewhere. Was it through here? Yes. I believe it is. Oh, it's come up on the map, so yes, of course it has. We're going the right way after all. This is run wonderful news. There's the gargoyle. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. It worked. But there's still an invisible wall now. It's gone. I wonder if it'll look like the headmaster's office out of the film. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It does not. Uh, maybe a little. Level 3 unlock, of course, on the headmaster's office. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Rebellion. Tea. Ooh, there was a chest through there. Oh yeah, that's in the other room I can't get into yet. Oh, hang on a minute. A note. Hair tonic, mustache, wags. <laughs> Put him <in> for... <laughs> Backstretch a gold handle duck side. Paid very small part remaining to be built to the ministry. Wow. He's using ministry money. Jeez. That must be the pedestal. Okay. Oh jeez. There we go. We've got in a book. Professor Fitzgerald. Well, this is interesting. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. This is. Uh, this you reminds me of control. To a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Wow. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The okay. first you will need is a cloak. I'm guessing in we don't have access to our magic life, in here. Death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. I don't have any access to any of my spells. So I just got a... It's just a stealth mission, okay. I should have run when I... is just right. Go, 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 go. I see a staircase straight ahead. What up onto the roof? Is that what you're talking about? Nope. 
Well, I wasn't expecting this trial. I was expecting another one of the uh, the ones we've done already. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Assuming we're going to have to fight some of these guys at some point. Learning how to fight death. This parkour skills, is it? I need to get in the house. Okay. I'd best move while I can. Leave must oh. be here somewhere. There she is. No, is that not Neve? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Go, 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 go. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Can I distract them? No, we'll just wait for them to turn around. Well, this is the probably the if I had to look at this game from a point of view of other people or children or teens and things, I guess this is probably the scariest part of the game so far. It's definitely very, way, very dark. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Which doorway? Revelio. Well, we got spotted. I guess it's that door. I didn't see a doorway. Oh, do I have to start again? Hmm. Okay, we're back here. Right, run back. Where was the doorway? This one? Is this the doorway? Cl that doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Why would it have potions available in here? I guess there's probably still going to be a boss flight. A boss flight in black and, white, black and white could be interesting. Can I go out of this door? Oh, um, open this way. Make your mind up, please. Now's my chance. Why won't you let me go faster? Oh, is that her? No, no, no. That's the way forward. We're getting an invisibility cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Ah. <laughs> no way. I didn't think we'd be getting an invisibility cloak in this game. I thought, no, that's they won't do that. That seems particularly pointless. Throw call back, throw back, whatever you want to call it. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? I guess I had fans would really want one. But jeez. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. 
Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Well, so give me an invisibility Here's cloak for ten seconds. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Oh, it's the uh, it's the Deathly Hallows wand. Now I've got access to all of my magic. Oh, no, I don't. I have access to a handful of magic. Okay. It's not the magic I usually use. But okay. Hmm. Oh, they're, they're a lot easier to kill than I thought they'd be. Only took one hit. I suppose we do have the most powerful one in the world. Descender. Bombarder. Depulsor. Potato. Defender. Depulsor. Bombarder. Descender. Bombarder. Descender. Depulsor. Defender. Stupid one. Bombarder. The bolter. Descender. Stupid one. Descender. The bolter. Defender. Defender. The Pulse. Gonna have to try and defeat, defeat death himself. Okay. That's troll. Everybody go. 
Did I do it? Nice. That wasn't so bad. It, it looked like it was going to be a lot harder, but those trolls didn't seem to move anywhere near as quickly or as or as much as they have done when we fought trolls before. There we go. Next stage of the trial, I guess. So we're going to go through each one of the Deathly Hallows, I guess. So we've done Invisibility Cloak. We've done the Big Wand. The Philosopher's Stone. Oh, is that the thing that we found with what's this word? The Mysterious Stone. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. <laughs> Me. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. I'll remember that as I witness your memory. Here we go. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We 
don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. So the repositories then must be where she was storing the pain that she'd extracted from people. And that's what the trolls are after, which is why it's red and angry and dark. Not the trolls, why do I keep calling the trolls? The goblins. Oh, we are learning. Where am I now? Revelio. Don't tell me I still gotta do boss fight. Oh no. <laughs> Let's say. Alright, figgy boy. Get new painting now. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yeah, boy! It is, and I have. But you are so young? Good looking? I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. Oh, dear. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Mmm. The story unravels further. But where will it go next as we nearly hit level 30? 260 XPs. We didn't get any chests or anything from that trial, which is... Uh, thugs a bit, but not to worry. 
There we go. The new quest is available. Open quest log. The Shadow of the Mountain. It's a Sebastian quest again. Oh, man. Natty. Sebastian. Sebastian. Poppy. Oh, Sebastian's just leading us in all of the wrong places. I don't want to speak to Sebastian anymore. He's going to make me learn Avracadavra. Albi, you're too expensive, you rip-off merchant. Hey, I haven't finished with my mail. Give me that back. What we got from uh, the professor? He tells me he shared with you experience of the phoenix. Please check in with him when you get a chance. He has an idea that I thought was worth exploring. Okay, we might be able to get a phoenix. That would be good. Uh, we should speak to with Mr. Bickle's friends. Uh, you're always sending me stuff. Yeah, finish what we started with the triptych. Yeah, it's Avocadavra though. Avocadavra. Yeah. Right, on that note, peeps, time to wrap up. So I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>